In this video, I am going to show you how to create your own animated NFT collection. You must be searching for an in-detailed video which tells you exactly how to create an animated NFT collection. But there is no such video on the internet which shows you an easy way for free to create this collection. So if you are interested in, in such a thing, just watch this video till the end and by the end of this video, you will be ready with your own animated NFT collection. So in order to follow this video, you need to watch this video, which is coming on the screen right now. This is a video which tells you how to create a basic structure for the collection that we are going to make today. But if you don't want to visit the video and watch the whole video, no problem. I'm going to add few clips from that video in this video so that you can follow those clips and make a basic structure for the collection that we are going to create. So let's get into the video without wasting any time. So go to your web browser and type in A-R-I-T-A and then click on the first link that pops up. Click on get Creta now and then whatever version you have, whatever windows and all, whatever system, just download it for it. As I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to do this process. So once you've downloaded the software, just open it. And uh, it's a very simple layout basically. So then you just have to click on new file and then check all these uh, pixels of so width, height and resolution. All these should be exactly same as I have already put here. And then once you've done this, click on create. So you will have this uh, type of a layout. Now I'll just tell you what the basic tools are. So here are some basic tools like this is for transform. So when you click this, whatever picture you export, you can transform the size. You can increase and decrease the size of the picture, the reference image that we are going to use basically. This is to shift the PNG file or any other JPEG file from here to there. And this is the background. These are the layers. This one is to add a new layer. This is for the animation. This tab is for the animation. So if you are not getting this kind of a workspace where you have this animation timeline, go here to workspaces and choose animation. And that way you will have this animation timeline in your layout. Now, one more important thing that you have to do is you have to download a reference image. So this reference reference image is known as a walking cycle. I can leave a Google Drive link down in the description from where you can download this or you can download your own file too. Whatever is uh, good for you. So I'm going to export this file into this and then go to my transform and resize. So I've resized it right here. So after resizing it, go to this background and you will see the background is like this. So unlock the background and delete this. You want this kind of a file. And then our image we have, which we have exported, click and drag it behind our paint layer. So we need it behind the paint layer. Once you do, once you've done that, click on paint layer and go to your animation timeline and click and then go to this add blank frame. So add a new frame here. Once you've added a new frame, go to this brush tool, freehand brush tool, click on black color, select your pixel size, select your brush size. I'm going to go with around nine and then start drawing. Start drawing the face. So you can play around with this. I'm going to do it very quick. So once I've drawn my face, we start drawing the body.
after we've done the body we go and draw the arms and then the legs You need a bit of patience while doing this because the better you draw this, the better the outcome will be of your animation. So once you've drawn this, you can check by pressing on this I button and our character looks pretty good, I must say. So after you've drawn this, you have to go to this tool right here, click on the image that we exported and then drag it right here to the second walking reference and then click on paint layer again go to the second frame and click on add blank frame and then to see the pre previous frame on this blank frame click on this button right here so this way we, we will have a reference of our previous frame and then click on the brush tool again and start drawing again on the top choose the black color just start drawing on top of this picture that is our reference so this is our second frame we'll disable this and check the second frame and looks pretty good and in this way only we have to do all the frames that I showed you the picture so I'll do it real quick and then just follow along you also do this the same process with all the frames like now again we need to go here shift the reference image again right here and then go right here to the paint layer again click on the third frame click on add blank frame and then repeat the process again so I'll do it real quick and we'll be back after it's done so finally my drawing is finished now let me check what the outcome is like so we'll start from here click on this and our drawing is pretty good and then now to animate it we'll go here file and render animation we want to select this video this video right here and select mpeg4 video but what you will notice right here is that this option you will not have this option available so to do that you need to go to your web browser and go to this link right here I've given this link in my description down below so when you click you will have this page open right here so in order for the animation to render you need to download this so go to whatever device you are using if you are using Apple go here and download this if you are using Windows you go here and go down under the release build, builds you will have this option right here which says FFMPEG 4.4.1 essentials built zip file, zip file so you have to click on this and download it and once you've downloaded this zip file you have to extract the zip file so I've extracted it right here so after extracting your zip file go back to this go to render animation again and click on this folder right here I've already done this process that's why this portion is full otherwise you must be having this portion empty so go to this click here 
and wherever you have saved your extracted file just go there open it go to the bin and then double click on this top file right here and after doing that you will have this option right here so after you have set up this software and made a basic structure for the collection the next step is to go to any folder create a new folder and then create different fold subfolders in this folder give them names so our first folder is body the basic body structure will be in this folder we need to create different layers so i am separating it out first only the second folder will be for our upper body like t-shirt the third folder will be for the lower body lb and so on you it's your wish what all folders you want to create to create this collection and then i'm going to create a folder for different props like cigar and cap hat all all these things on the body like different designs so props eyes actually i'm going to do eyes first and then mouth props so for the timing these folders are enough and then you want to go back to this software and then we are going to create our first layer our first folder the body the basic body structure so in the basic body structure this is the exact same thing that you need to do you need to put the skin color the lower color will be black or whatever color you want so i'm going to now this is the basic body structure all the layers have this same structure so go to the file and then click on render animation and after you go to render animation what all number the the amount of number of frames you have you have to click first frame and last frame so our last frame is 6 so we want only this much to be rendered and frames per second i'm going to put this on 9 the frames per second should be set on 9 and this render as should be gif image in order for the loop to keep playing and then just click on uh, just set your destination of where you want to save this so we already created a folder for video body and i'm going to save it in body okay and when we go to that folder we have this saved right here actually one thing i forgot to do is create a base ground because if we don't create a ground even if you set the size of the file it will not come equal to what you want so in order for me to get a 600 by 600 pixels file i need to, I need to create a base for this so it'll be it will work as an outline so i'm going to increase the size from here and create a ground right here on all the frames i'm going to do it on all the frames so now the same thing you have to repeat and render the animation So now if you see the image, if you see the animation, 
it's going to be 600 by 600 the size before the size was small because we didn't create the ground so the first thing has been created now in order to create the next things we need to first go right here and create create different copies of the same image of the same layer so to create different copies just click on control c control v control c v c v so there will be multiple copies created of the same layer and now we want to create t-shirt copies like the upper body different colors for the upper body so click on the paint tool and then whichever color you want just click on it first i'm going to choose red and then click on this and fill it in the layer and you have to do this for all the frames like the previous one so i have it already filled for all the frames and then i'm going to choose on this tool in order for this outline to be a bit thinner so just click on this right here and then click on the black part the outline part so that our outline becomes thin this is not necessary just for the safe for safety reason so that the outline does not get doubled when we add this file so just do it for all the files all the frames actually and then we have our first frame like our first colored uh, layer for the collection which will have the red t-shirt so now just do the same thing which we did with the previous ones go go here click on render animation and then select the six frames that we already have all these details should be same it should not be different and then select the destination it is t-shirt and then click on one and save so i'm going to real quick ma make all these t-shirt layers and yeah i'll meet you after that after i have created different layers for the body for the body t-shirt color i've created one two three four five layers for the t-shirt color now i'm going to create layers for the lower for the lower body so i go back to the software krita and i start filling in color in the lower body and all the other things should be empty so i pick the paint tool and i want the first color that I want is grey I'm going to export it in the same way render animation 6 frames 9 frames per second select the destination create a video for video lower body first color and then click on save and you if you have anything filled in your upper body just click on this erase tool along with this paint tool and then you can deselect anything so now the second layer and then i'm going to make three or four layers and meet you after that so i've created different layers for the lower body right here 
three layers for the lower body and then the next one is background i didn't choose uh, select and create a folder for background so i'm going to do that real quick so click on write bg and then go here and then just click on new layer right here click on new layer and fill the layer with light colors i'm going to go with light colors so the first one is yellow and then just go here export click on png file png image and then select the folder for video background and save and okay so this way we are going to create all the backgrounds once you have created the background and the lower body colors then you need to create props so the first prop that i'm going to create is the hat so just select that layer back and i'm going to the first frame and i only want the outline so i'm going to select the paint and click on select erase mode and erase this color black that is in the different frames and then go back select the brush tool select size and start drawing select the color black of course and start drawing first frame then draw it in the second frame draw it in the third frame fourth frame fifth and the last frame and then click on the paint tool and fill a color in this so i'm going to fill black color in all the frames forgot to do it in the last frame so i'm going to do it and you need to create different designs just the way i have created here after creating few designs of hat i'm going to create few eye designs now so the first eye design that i'm going to create is go to the brush tool select the black color or whatever color you want and just go through from here to there so that it looks like a sci-fi design just a type of a goggles that he's wearing and yeah a couple of designs like these so after you've created all the props after you've created all the props everything t-shirt and lower head eyes everything background then you need to visit the a website called mint raremints.com and then sign into that website and then click on add new project now click on group and write anything like stickman whatever you want the name to be just write it and under this group create subgroups so the first will be background bg then will be body then t-shirt t s h i r t lower then the next one will be eyes mouth actually mouth eyes and head so these are all the layers that i've created and then the only thing now you need to do is 
click and drop all those folders select and drop in these so first i'm going to drop my background select background select all the background files drag and drop it right here then go to your body select your body drag and drop then different color of t-shirts that you created drag and drop all these right here so after you've dragged and dropped everything you need to click on this generate image tab so just click on generate image and then here it is showing how many unique combinations are possible so because i didn't uh, make so many designs that's why there are only 480 unique combinations but i want 100 combinations because it's going to take a lot of time because these are not just images these are animations so it's going to take a lot of time depends upon your laptop specs and yeah so i'm going to select 100 combinations and then click on generate and it's going to take a bit of time depends upon your pc specs for me i think it's not going to take a long time so after all these files are generated you will get a zip file so the zip file will be right here just have to open the zip file and then see all the images these are all gif files then just export it shift it into a new folder and yeah i'm ready with my unique collection of animations so there was some error like i did some mistake in the size of the canvas but this will not happen these lines the extra lines will not have come in your when you are generating if you take care of this canvas size it was a very silly mistake actually see so these are all the nfts unique nfts with different color combination than different i made this video because there was not a lot of content on this topic on the internet on how to create your own animated nft collection so yeah if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon for more updates and if you have any doubt just write in the comment section down below and i will definitely reply and clear all your doubts this was it for the video see you in the next video